been cooking with me since she's probably been younger than two years old. She has always loved being in the kitchen. She's a great helper. We use egg yolk only because these need to be melted in your mouth. And if you use the egg white, they're a little too hard. We are making two traditional uh, types of cookies that a lot of people know. One of them is called curambiadas. It's a traditional wedding cookie. And they are basically like a Greek shortbread cookie with um, powdered sugar. Very sweet. And the other one is called kulurakia, which is a traditional Easter cookie. And it's usually made in a twist, and it's usually got sesame seeds. Not quite as sweet. It's like a Greek coffee biscuit. That's perfect. Thank you, honey. All right, let me go put this over here. Okay, now. Okay. Take that and just put it right in there. That's perfect. Thank you. Honey. It's unlocked. Okay. You can lock it again. Thank you. And let's put this in a little bit. Okay. And now, we're going to give you two big spoonfuls. We're going to put it right in there. Not quite that big, a little bit less. Yeah. Okay, just like that. Perfect. Okay. Lock it. It's still locked. Okay. I didn't even unlock it. Okay. Thank you. Take that. Yeah, what number is it on? It's on number one. Daddy, why was it going so fast in the first place? Well, because you have to really make put it on higher to beat the butter so it gets really fluffy. But now that the butter's all mixed, we can put it on lower. Okay. Now we need one more thing. We need some baking yeah. powder. And we need one teaspoon of baking powder. So it says a heaping teaspoon. So what that means is you're going to put this in, and it's going to be like that. So you want to do that for me? Like okay, this. that's perfect. Leaves. Okay, not yet. We're going to put that into some flour. And now mix it with the spoon, just very gently. Because we're going to, if you mix the, the uh, baking powder with the flour first, it mixes a little bit better. Okay, now we can put that. And we're going to put a little bit of this in like that. Okay, you want to put it down for me? Okay. Lock, lock it. it? Sure. It's locked. It's kind of hard to actually tell you how much flour you need because it depends on the humidity for a day. It's really what the dough feels like that determines how much flour you end up putting in. So it varies a little bit. We have it written down in the recipes approximately. Oh, no, actually... Why don't you use the smaller one? It's easier. Yeah. We can add quarter cups at a time. That way we won't put too much flour in. Okay. There you go. This much? Uh, that's good. Yep, put the whole thing in. Okay. And let's put this down for a second. Let's see what put, You don't have to look. It's okay. That's all right if we get some flour. I unlocked it. Okay. This could be it. Oh. Okay. It was kind of going up so I had it unlocked. Right. Now, the way we tell is we go, we bring it up, and we feel it. Feels a little bit sticky still, so we need a little tiny bit, just a little. So we're going to only put this much. So put that much in. Okay, we don't want to put too much because we don't want to go. Once we put too much, then we're stuck. It's fading. It is. Yeah, sometimes it's more. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We'll clean it up afterwards. Sometimes it's fun to get flour on us, isn't it? Yeah. So I think it feels pretty good. Me too. So let's get it out of the bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let me take this right out of here first. And we'll do it this way. That's easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Now we're going to bring this to the table. All right. No, 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 you don't need to do that yet, honey. So see how it feels? See, when I put my fingers on it, it's not sticking. And that's how we want it to be. So we're going to take this one, and we're just going to roll it. We're going to just flatten it out. And for this particular recipe, you do not need to use a grease. It's an ungreased baking sheet. Now, there are different ways you can make this. One of the ways is you can take a little bit, and Erin's going to show you how she makes it into a circle. Or you can make it into an oval. Yeah, it's a little stick into the table. That's a little okay. bit. And then there's another way to do it, which we do this for the Greek festival because it's faster and it comes out very um, consistent. You just pinch off a little bit like this. 
and you make a little... Yeah, can I do that? Sure, you can do that. So, you want to try one? Just pinch off a little bit like I showed you the other day. That's a girl. And then you put, push the edges a little bit. Good job. You have to be careful that they're cooked all the way through, but we, as I said, we do not want them to be golden brown. Okay, let me see. Yeah, why don't you take this one? Make that all in. You know what? <clears throat> let me give you a little bit more, sweetie. I'm going to take a small bit. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's great. Thank you. They have to bake until uh, they are set, but they, they, we don't want them to be golden brown because they're, they're more like a shortbread cookie. Okay. There we go. So now we're going to put these into the oven at 350. Okay. And, again, it's hard to gauge sometimes because every oven is a little bit different. Yep, for sure. And because I don't want them to brown, I'm going to check them a couple of times, too. Let's get these. Okay. Now we're going to take these. And we're going to, we're going to lay the cookies sugar. down on top of this so the bottom gets covered, too. Okay, Aaron, go to town, honey. You sprinkle them liberally. <laughs> it's always more fun when you get it all over yourself. <laughs> you know how it looks pretty, Aaron? If you point them all in the same direction. Yeah. When the Turks uh, took over Greece, um, some people made the crescent shape um, for the crescent to. Um, to simulate the, the crescent shape on the Turkish flag. Yeah. The kurumbiyadis, which are the shortbreads, basically have butter, baking powder, flour, and um, sugar. And you use powdered sugar only. The dough needs to be soft enough to mold into a cookie. She was my great helper, my granddaughter Erin. She's five. She's been baking with me since she's been less than two years old. She's a wonderful helper and a wonderful baker.